Standing tall with his eyes set on the country's top job, when the Kenyan electorate will next year be called to pick the fourth occupant of the house on the hill. Born 42 years ago in Transoya County to the late Senator William Wamalwa, the young Wamalwa went to Mahele and Kitale Union Primary Schools before proceeding to Kipsangui and Chewayet High Schools and later to Ngendia High School in Homabi County for his A-levels. He subsequently went to the University of Nairobi where he attained a law degree and a diploma in law at the Kenya School of Law. Coming from the farming community, the breadbasket of Kenya, Eugene Omalo is a farmer. That is uh, who Eugene Omalo is before uh, aspiring to be the next president of the Republic of Kenya. It is his presidential ambitions in next year's race to state house that has set Omalo under close scrutiny as political observers weigh his chances of becoming the country's fourth president. For him, his presidency will represent freshness and a break from the past. The next president should be someone who is clean, who is untainted from the corruption of the past and the bitterness of negative ethnicity of the past. But even before he proceeds further in his pursuit of the country's chief executive's job, political observers and critics are skeptical about his chances of clinching the coveted top job. More so when his clout is compared with that of the more established and experienced political heavyweights were also in the 2012 race to state house. Sasa rafiki yangu wa Malwa Eugene wa Malwa tuko na wewe hapa. Wewe ni kijana kama mimi. Wewe endelea kuwa fanya practice. Eh fanya practice. Utoke featherweight, uende lightweight. Kwa sababu tayari Raila Amolo Odinga ako heavyweight. Na wakati Daudi kalisema kanataka kaonane na Goliath ndugu zake wakubwa wenyewe walikambia wewe wachana hawezi wewe ni lightweight wewe ni featherweight huyu Raila ni heavyweight lakini Daudi kalisema mimi naenda kuonana na Goliath Eugene Wamalu atakana awekwe mahali apikwe vizuri kabisa kwa maana angali ni mwanasiasa mbichi the young Wamalo comes from a family with a big political name that includes his late father, Senator William Wamalwa, and the late charismatic and eloquent former Vice President Kijano Wamalwa. Therein lies yet another challenge for Eugene Wamalwa, with critics claiming he was merely advancing dynasty politics. If you remove the Wamalwa name from him, and if you remove the support from the two, he has, he's a guy with the feet of clay, absolutely. Because of uh, uh, having a famous brother or a famous father, you are seen in his shadow and no one wants to know you for who you really are. And I believe time will tell that Eugene Wamalo is different from Michael Wamalo. He is his own man. And he's Ordinarily, politics is a game of numbers. More often than not, presidential hopefuls will consolidate their political strongholds before setting out to hunt for votes in other regions. Coming from the Western Kenya region that has other presidential hopefuls, what then are our Malwa's chances in next year's presidential contest? I'm not running as a, as a lawyer candidate or as a Western candidate. Uh, and, and, and many would ask, I mean, is your tribe behind you before, be, be, before you, you ask for support? But I'm saying my tribe is Kenya. And uh, my tribe is the, particularly the young people of this country. The Saboti first-time lawmaker has on several occasions had to contend with perceptions of being too naive, if not inexperienced, and therefore unfit for the top job, at least for now. Ukiwa baba, na umetoa viatu umewacha pale. Na unarudi jioni, unapata kakijana kako kama yoka miguka na tembea, kanacheza na viatu. Unachukua kibogo unazwa kuchapa uyo mtoto. Uyo si, viatu mtoto hawezi kwena na yo mahali. <laughs> we have told uh, 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 Honorable Gumo and uh, the, the, the Kibaki generation that we salute you for what you've done for the last 40 years. But we have been walking around uh, barefoot for a long, long time when you've been promising us, when we grow up, we'll wear this shoe. Now that you're giving us the opportunity to try on the shoe, I can tell you 
We are going away with this shoe in 2012. We are not going to give it up. Wamalo is part of an emerging political group dubbed the G7 that brings together other political luminaries such as Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta, and Eldoret North MP William Ruto. Given the political clout and the financial muscle of his colleagues in the alliance, political observers have questioned Wamalo's chances of flying the alliance's flag in next year's presidential contest. Is he then a key player or just part of the support cast in the alliance's 2012 power play? Whoever wins amongst us, and if that person is Eugene Wamalo, he'll only be a first amongst equals. So I believe the chances are good for each member of the team to become that candidate. But I also believe that what's important is to put together a winning team. That is our focus right now. But I would say my chances are good, Uhuru's chances are good, and uh, Ruto's and Kalonzo's. Should he succeed in his journey to State House, how differently will Wamalo transact the head of state and government's business, more so under a new constitutional order? Coming from an agricultural community, if I became president, I believe one of the things I would do differently is put in place right food policies, policies that would encourage an increment in productivity. I would give priority to youth-friendly policies. For now, Eugene Ludovic Wamalwa is focusing on his parliamentary assignment as he warms up for next year's race to State House that promises to be one major bruising contest. Francis Gashuri for Countdown 2012 series.